This morning I wake up, I got a really good idea how to improve even more on this. So I start shooting this from the previous uh, video showing on the screen. And it wasn't doing so good. Uh, the accuracy, we can get it fire a full auto, but the accuracy, I want to show you the accuracy test. It was horrible. Look at that. It was everywhere, and we are, we are only at 25 yards. Well, not 25 yards, 19 yards. How can it be this bad? So, I went and hit this on improvements. This is what I did. And the accuracy has came back. Let me show you the accuracy came back. Went from... It went from this... Let me lock in the camera. Went from this, which is a six inch circle, to see this was the accuracy from the from the previous one. To if you see the red blocks, hole after hole, the accuracy has went back to that. And later on, uh, the final test with the final improvement was just hole through hole. There, there's a, a grouping of holes on the screen. I'll circle it. There's about five to six shots going through the same hole. Okay, so the accuracy test was wasn't good, but now it's all fixed, and it's hole after hole through the same hole. Okay, so this is back to this. This is what I did. I went ahead. The lighting condition is terrible. Went ahead and drilled five holes throughout this thing. It's not very even, but it's good enough. I mean, for air pressure wise, it was really good. Okay, five holes through this, and I empty out the first chamber. I'll show you in a minute. The first chamber is emptied. And the phone, I cut all the phone and wireframe back from this end, this arm. Okay. So this has become basically a muzzle brake, um, a stabilizer muzzle brake. Okay. And then in the front, where Donnie has a bunch of holes here, I enlarged it to a much bigger hole. Not much, not that much bigger. But it's a lot bigger than before, which is the same size as this. You can pick your own, your own hole size. I use a Dremel. Did this. I have a better looking one. Uh, like this. Let me go ahead and get off the sun. So you can see this a lot better. So I have a better looking one, I guess. Yeah, there, there you go. So the first chamber right here it's hollow there's no there's no filters after this there's wireframes and all the stuff and all these holes i drill a little bigger it actually expands the air comes out here air comes out here and it was actually trying to fire full auto doing semi-auto it was so silky smooth in there with all the effort i'm trying to do i was fire semi-auto it was bursting semi 40 automatic two, three bursts, four bursts. It was crazy. So instantly all the pressure got relieved right about here. Because the holes are small, there's actually not much sound comes out beside a hissing sound, like that, right here, okay? So I get every notch, five holes throughout. This become a very tiny chamber of a, of a muzzle brake. And also we have this piece to relieve the pressure as we remember we still have the holes in the front and we have that hole right there so this is very quiet right now and the accuracy is the power didn't diminish the power was dropping if it's a circle the pro if let's say if let's say i was shooting the the center of the scope is right here after the silence it was dropping to here i got a re-zero to here 
and I use a heavy slug it was somewhere here it was off the screen so after that after I cut this back cut this back to here allow it to breathe much better while exploding in the front while the air exploding in the front and basically only use this much and with all the holes right here relief valves the noise actually cut down even more but the best part is the power and accuracy when found randomly between here and here and here and here all the way back to the middle so I guess I should use the this is an example there it was climbing all the way all over the place basically it was all over the place and now I now it's all center on center pulse. So instead like what I did yesterday, drilling a bunch of stuff, let me go grab I did a different way to try to pack this, but none of it worked. So instead what I did yesterday, try to drill different holes, actually affect my accuracy quite a bit. Because the whole size, the air pressure, the whole thing was just horrible. Everything I shot out was it was all over the place. Okay, so I just cut it off. What I did, I just cut it off. Let me show you. I have to, I have to twist this off. Uh, I have this on the table. Get on the table. get the accuracy back we we solved the fully automatic fire issue and this really worked push this right here okay I cut this short exposed the first chamber on its own and you can tell the first chamber is exactly where my muzzle brake is which are all those line those dots all this muzzle brake get all the air pressure out doesn't have the noise just the hissing sound get all the air pressure out as the bullet is still traveling forward and the sound still traveling forward and muzzle by this piece where Donnie has of course you have to make sure you, you expose all the holes you drill out if you want to enlarge this, all these pieces, they has to be underneath of the, the metal wire frame. So the sound will travel in two chambers. One is inside, inside the barrel. Another one is between the shell and the metal wire frame, which is muzzled mainly for pressure release. But what this really worked is as soon as the gun comes out, exploded the amount of air it comes out right here the air got relieved there's really no noise I keep standing next to it even put my ear next to it it's just a hissing sound and um, yeah and the noise and right here the, the air comes out here yeah so it really works also what I did I leave a little gap in the front using wireframe not much maybe just a few just a little bit so allow the air to hissing to pass right when the barrel so allow the bullet to be more stabilized I think because when I try to close it very very much uh, the barrel the bullet wasn't as stabilized and this I, I believe this act a lot more like a stabilizer same as this piece okay so that's that good luck with this and this really get the accuracy back hole after hole after hole the same hole so if it was a silencer you'll see the drop but this really get your silencer um, bring the silencer drop back in fact I took out the barrel I uh, took out the silencer just fire with a barrel without silencer it literally was landing about the same location maybe like half inch down with a silencer and 19 yards before was six inch down, eight inch down where the, the without width and without a silencer, that's how much drop. Before was like this much, 
now was now it's like this and this fires 40 automatic for for the blitz uh, yeah thanks for watching and happy shooting this is my my finding and hopefully you guys can use it and make your own or just follow exactly like this you will shoot perfect thanks for watching final pass through so happy with this uh, silencer now so happy now I can try different calipers without the bullet dropping or flying every direction <laughs>